What's up versus babies? I've got a different kind of video for you today. The short version is that I've created my own custom fan created 200 card battles box for versus system called the Peaky Blinders Battles based on the TV show on BBC and Netflix. I had so much fun creating them and I wanted to test them out to see how they played in real life so I got a couple friends together on Tabletop Simulator to duke it out for a few rounds. The video that follows is a recording of that match. It's a little awkward at first because I had issues with the screen recording and my headset, but it settles in pretty quickly, so please forgive the underlying fan noise from my laptop. You'll still be able to hear everybody clearly, and I edited out most of the drawn out silence where nothing was happening. If you want to know more about these cards, the full spoiler is in the description. And I'm also going to make another video soon taking a little peek behind the scenes and talking about what it takes to put out a high quality, well balanced card set, at least for from my own experience. So without further ado, let's get into it. Playing who is on uh, this side right now, playing Grace Shelby, and got my friend Marcus down over here, and he's on this side playing Polly Gray. Sorry, Jason's playing Grace Burgess, who levels up into Grace Shelby. And just to put some quick house rules down because I'm testing this these cards. I wanted to have some access to some of the existing versus cards. So I've got these plot twists over here, which are from uh, the existing cards. And uh, basically the house rule is if you're playing a good character, you can use any of these MCU hero plot twists. And if you're playing an evil character, you can use any of these MCU villain plot twists, as long as you have uh, an evil character face up or a uh, good character face up and then all of these are neutral and even this marvel one you don't need a marvel character we're just going to play it neutral so if those cards come up and you're like oh that's not legal well for this game it will be all right so we can go ahead and get started if you two want to roll the dice and see who goes first uh, after you good sir yeah, you have to decide who's rolling the dice first before you can... Five. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right, seven. All right, so you get to decide whether you go first or not. If you go first, you don't get to draw on your first turn, and um, you will get turn advantage. If you decide to go second, you will get to draw two cards, and you'll get card advantage. And just uh, as a little hint there, Polly, Polly tends to like card advantage. Yeah, I'll do that then. So, number two. I go first. <clears throat> All plot twists. Um, if it's an underground plot twist, you can play it as a resource, and you can use it later by flipping it face up. Just FYI. Oh, yeah. That seems like, well, I guess I'll play it and see what happens. I mean, you'll still get the recruit points. But yeah, that's that's a bit of a rough hand, rough starting hand. Did you shuffle? I did. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we ready to go? Hold on one sec, I gotta shuffle. <laughs> Almost. Come on. Alright, Oh, come on. Are you shuffle? What's this shortcut? R. Like the die roll. Roll the deck. Randomize. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that works. Okay, much better. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Bam. Bam. So, for some reason this didn't get updated on the server, but it should say when you recruit Copper, choose an enemy player to real reveal a random card from their hand. Oh yeah. Show me a card. So if copper appears by not being recruited, you don't get to take advantage of that power. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so... So, Jason, you can pick a number from 1 to 7, and that will be a random card. Yeah, starting from left, the side, uh, my left. I'll just pull it out of your hand. Okay. Oh, you can have that back. Uh, all right, so then we're going to work together to attack Polly Gray. You, in order to do that, they would have to both be in the front row because Copper can't make a ranged attack. And then you would exhaust them by turning them to the side. And I can't do anything. I don't think. So it's five to five. So do I get them? Uh, there's something you could do, Marcus. Um. Uh, is it playing this plot twist? Oh, I guess that one's a supporting character. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a plot twist that you could use. Yeah, there's a couple plot twists you could do. If you wanted to. You could save them for later, too. I think I will save it and just take it in. Okay. And you get to strike back. I'm going to strike back against uh, the copper. The copper has two health, so he stays out. Or they stay uh, out. Yeah. You just flip him over. And put a wound on him. And make sure to update Polly's health to four. Jason, you gotta end your turn. I did. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, wait, I gotta draw two first. So we're gonna bring out Finn, Shelby. I'm doing this in the right order. Resource recruitment. Yeah. Moon. I think we will do a team attack on Grace. Four, five. I mean, four points. Four points of damage. So if it's got a blue, a purple spinny thing, that means I have to tap something or exhaust something? No, that means you can play it on Marcus's turn. So it's currently his turn. So it means any turn. So you okay. can play it when you're attacking or when you're defending. All right, right, let's. he's a friend from work this fight. Can't remember who's good and who's evil. Uh, trouble is evil, so they're the police. And Peaky Blinders are good. They have the flat caps. Um, so I get plus two, plus two, so I'm at five, five. Uh, okay. I will also play that. <laughs> so I have six. Yeah, which uh, which character is getting the bonus? Oh, uh, that's gonna be Ollie. Probably a good idea, since uh, Grace has five attack now. Uh, do I 
Justin, look at this card. Can't use it. Okay. Uh, I think that means I lose a... I take a wound. And then, oops, she's gonna... She can fight back? Yes, she can strike back. Oops, I prematurely ended my turn. <laughs> One health. Dead. Alright, she's striking back against Finn. It's Finn, alright. Alright. Yes, and that means it's my turn. Yes, sir. Oh, did you keep all your cards in your hand, Marcus? Or did, or did you put any in your witch pile? I didn't put any in my witch pile. Okay. Alright. Uh, so you draw. Put before you put it in your witch pile. What's that? Do you get to look at the card before you put it in the witch pile? Yes. Okay. And it has to be the cards that you just drew? Yes. Gotcha. Oh, resource. Ooh. Are you sure about that? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody flicked. I was just trying to place it, but I got a little overzealous. Uh, uh, Jason, are you sure you want to place that one as a resource? It seems like a long time before I can use it. But you need him for your level up condition. Are you familiar with your level up condition? Yes. <laughs> um. Oh, so recruit and then formation. Recruit. J. Jesus. Formate that shit. <clears throat> All right. You want to use his effect? His keyword power? Jeremiah appears. Each enemy player may reveal a supporting character from their hand. If they don't, Jeremiah loses passive. So if you if you reveal a card, then I can't attack with Jeremiah. Correct. But if you don't, I can. What say you, Marcus? Uh, I think I will reveal. A supporting character. Uh, sure. Uh, wow. Okay. She seems nice. <laughs> Uh, okay. So at the beginning of your build phase, you may name an enemy supporting character. Grace has its printed keyword and superpowers until the beginning of your next build phase. So Grace can get only a pile, only supporting characters. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Should have left that guy out there so I can steal a keyword. <laughs> All right, so I need to attack. But Jeremiah can't. Coppers. I can still team attack. I'm gonna wait. I don't think I'm gonna attack this turn. Enter. Uh, you might want to. Oh, no. never mind. Jeremiah Jesus just makes a good uh, 
a good uh, front wall. So. All oh, right. Might be good to move him in the front row when you get a chance. Well, my chance has passed. All right, Marcus, don't forget you can put these two cards into your witch pile. Yes. Or you can put one into your witch pile if you want. It's up to you. Or you could put none in there. If I put two cards in, I get two XP. Yes. But you only get to draw, uh, you only get to put one card from the top of your deck into your hand. So basically, it's sacrificing one card early on in the game for a quick level up. Okay. Okay, I guess. Alright, yeah, I think I will do that. Alright, um. Uh, where do I kind of put it here? Yeah. If you hit, if you select them and hit G, then they'll group together. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Ah, beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to take that and bring it out. Ada Shelby. All right. So okay. So she's smart. So when she appears, you can draw a card, which means you can also choose to put that in your witch pile, and then if you do, put the top card of your deck into your hand, and then you'll get another XP. I. Uh, yeah. Why not? <laughs> I need seven. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And then so... you get to put the top card of your deck into your hand now. Oh. Okay. So I would need white to attack Polly. Or not Polly, but Grace, right? Correct. Or stealth. I gotta get to my copper first. Oh yeah. Or wait, even if I have flight? No, if you had flight you could fly over the copper. Cool, cool. I'm going can I, oh, wait, can I play this card just oh, let me see. This one here? Uh this one. Uh, uh this uh plot twist here. Yep, you can play that on Ada. Okay, I will do that. Uh, okay, so she has flight, and she's going to attack Grace for three. So make sure to exhaust Ada. Uh, I think I gotta take it. Yay! Damage, right? Yeah, she'd get wounded. Struck back oh. against. Um, alright. And I think that's gonna do it for Okay. Good. 
Uh, it'll be fun to see. Probably not gonna happen though. Um, all right, three. Recovery. Oops, did the resource already. Recruit. I can aid a Shelby your ass too. Card. Come on. Okay. Um, so he's still passive. He might make good protection in the front row. Yeah. Just another yeah, warm body you gotta get rid of. Uh, Alright, so if those. I guess all three can attack, can team attack. Oh no, they can't because they're out there on different sides. And Jeremiah can't attack anyway. Oh yeah. Um. So you're just using Ada and uh, Copper. Or you can't because of the right? Yeah, but I'll I'll throw this down so that they can team attack. Some kind of a deal thing. And then I will. Wait, no. Uh... Yeah, so we'll team attack with these two. Alright, for five. Only five. Five. Five to your five. I think I will say no you move. Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? Um Marcus, you get to strike back. Yeah. Let's see. Two. I will strike against the copper, I think. And also, I want Ada to move to the back row. She's not yet. Aren't you glad you moved Jeremiah up front now? <laughs> I guess so. As long as these flying bastards don't get me again. Okay, oh, wait, I forgot to bring you. Or I forgot to do all this stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, um, so I'm trying to. Okay. I'm... Put any in your witch pile? Yeah, bring both of them in. And that'll give me two. You get to put the, yeah, and you get to put the top card of your deck into your hand. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I'm at five and I'm 
been a 20 that I saved recently. And then what? Justin. I have now. It's holding up so far, but. Yeah. Who knows what will happen? Uh, okay, I got a question. Just. Uh huh. Um, for the this plot twist here on the right. Uh huh. Uh, is that a one in my hand or in my dick? Uh, it's one in on in one of your rows. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Mm. I want to be able to see the tabletop cameras floating around. <laughs> I think that would be funny to see. I'm going to, I guess, team attack tag or my. Team attack Jeremiah? Yeah. Okay. So, so you'll exhaust them both? So, fuck, is it five total? Yeah. Um, he did. Does uh, he strike back? Nope, he's passive. Okay, that's right. <laughs> it's really mean. <laughs> and not sure there's much else you can do. What if I use this other plot twist on Grace? Uh, it has to be a supporting character. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah, I'm done. Two cards. Upper. Resource. So, it's the start of your build phase, and there is a face up supporting character on an enemy side. In the build phase, you may name an enemy. Oh, right. Uh, so I could have used this other plot twist on my Ada, right? Yes. Yes. Collect all. Spin cameras and all of All the stones and ask you what the problem of this is really possible. I'm going to prepare to my watch side. Um, Sure. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, you can use it later on in the in the game. So uh, I'm going to give you a little note card to write on. Just so you remember who you copied earlier in the game. You have suffered from a horrible draw. <laughs> um, I should have taken that mulligan. Carry mulligan? I guess I will do... This. And then I will... this and I get range on Ada and attack a whole row the next time it attacks this turn. Um, and I will attack the front row. And I will wait. Shit. I don't want to do that at all. Uh, you could still do it. 
with this guy here. Do I get to choose between those things? Uh, no. Oh wait, I guess eight is good. So, yeah, I guess you're right. You can't do that. You could potentially use this one if you moved Ada to the back row. And none of his characters have range, so they wouldn't be able to strike back, but it would leave you unprotected for next round. Oh, and they can't team attack anyway, I guess, so, because they're on different teams. So yeah, maybe save that one. <laughs> uh, Alright, uh, I guess that's my turn. You could still... well, never mind. I guess I could have just attacked one of them. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't have worked. you want to do that? No, I think I'm happy with that terrible turn. <laughs> I never get to use these chips. Yeah, they're not too common. put a scab on something. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't seen that card in action. Alright, so I'm level I'm able to level. Uh, okay. So you swap out your level two and your level one character. So Polly is now 5 attack, 7 defense, and you can now add a random card once per turn from your witch pile into your hand. Or for an intellect, which is a yellow power, you can seance for a, char a supporting character. Mm. So the idea here is that you kind of want plot twists in your witch pile, because those will help you. Um, so seancing also helps deplete your witch pile of supporting characters, which are less helpful in the moment. But it's also good for high, uh, for finding supporting characters that you've put in there that you want to actually take out. But you gotta remember if they're in there, if they're worth seancing for. I'm track better. Um, I will draw one from the there though. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, that's pretty uh, let's see. I'm going to I think put this put it here. And okay, I'm just gonna bring Johnny out. Johnny Dogs. You know, I think I might try the seance thing too while I'm at it. Okay. So I'll just uh, that. Um, how do I look at the cards? Uh, right click and do search. I'm going to bring this into my hand. Oh, I dropped it into space. Uh, okay. And the seance is done. <laughs> Spooky. Um, and with that, with that, I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack Ada with Ada. 
Uh, and I'm going to put this card on your Ada. Uh, I don't think you can. Because uh, Ada doesn't have flight or range. Oh, my bad. Alright, you got lucky. <laughs> okay, so... Yes, uh, I will stick with that plan, though. So make sure you exhaust Ada. I guess she's KO'd. Oh, uh, not yet. Jason gets a chance to play plot twists first. <clears throat> we'll cancel the battle. Ada's a friend from work with Ada? That makes sense. Alright. Snoop. So that's my turn then, right? Uh, unless you want to make other attacks. Oh, well, I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to attack Ada with Johnny. Okay, then I am going to... Take a wound. Um, and Let's see, I can't attack Grace because I don't have range, right? Or, um, uh, range means you can attack from the back row, but Grace is currently unprotected, so you can attack her. Uh, don't mind if I do. Oh, she got stronger. Yep. She leveled up. Ugh, she just takes a wound also. Right. Stunned people get exhausted as well. Alright, that's it. So. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna enjoy. Hey. <laughs> I think you'll be glad that you didn't uh, put someone down as a resource. Uh, resource recruitment. Alright. Okay, so Chester has updated text as well. So when he appears, you only search your deck for each card named Copper and put them into play. They have Ferocious this turn, and then at the end of your turn, shuffle them back into your deck. So he's been nerfed a little bit. Search your hand, deck, and KO pile for each card named Copper and put them into play. Have ferocious this turn. But in this case, you'd only search your deck now. That's an updated card. Search. Can I grab every copper? Yep. I was dreading this. <laughs> well, I nerfed him, so when you played him, he was much more powerful. So he's going to be a little bit less powerful now. Oh, he's also 4 8. 4 attack, 8 defense, not 7 defense. So it wasn't all nerf. So it's just those two? Uh, yeah, because you had one in your... You have one in your KO pile, and you must have one somewhere else. Possibly in your okay. hand or elsewhere. Okay. So they're back. They're out. They have Ferocious. And Chester has plus one for each face up char character with officer on your side, plus one attack. So he's 4-8? Yep. So now 6-8? Correct. Alright, it's ass-beaten time. 
and main phase. All right. Um, all right. Mr. Campbell is going to, this is my dad. He's going to team attack with the coppers. Jeez. Um, coppers can't attack whole rows, so he wouldn't be able to have the benefits of this is my dad. They, so the coppers wouldn't, or a Chester wouldn't? Uh, n none of them would. Uh oh. They would all have to be able to attack whole rows. Okay. Um, I'm not sure I understand that. Uh, because if he wants to make a legal attack against a whole row, then everyone has to be able to attack that whole row to Why add their attack. Coppers? Why can't they attack a whole row? Yeah. Uh, because only Chester Campbell has range and attacks whole rows. Gotcha. Okay, I see. All right. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess Chester's gonna attack, gonna attack the whole row. Oh, and, and by the way, Grace gets to copy another power, so... Yeah. Not, not that it's useful to it to copy Johnny Dogs at this point, but... <laughs> oh, yeah. And I was thinking that, but... Oh, wait, doesn't Grace flip? Uh, at the end of your turn. Oh. Um, yeah, so let's, I guess, start with Johnny Dogs. Or... Are, are you not move. doing the whole row? Yeah, I was gonna do the whole whole row. Okay, so you're you're making one attack. So exhaust Chester. So is that six gonna be one, like six against him, six against her, six against her? Yes, six simultaneous attacks. Okay. And you get the first chance to play a plot twist. Mm -hmm. Jason or me? Uh, Jason. I'll send a message to Polly, and she gets minus one to her. Oh, that's defense. only for supporting characters, unfortunately. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so wait, how does, wait, why does he get the opportunity to play a plot twist when he's already playing a plot twist? Because he played this one before his attack, it was during his main phase, okay. and then when he attacks he gets the first opportunity to play a plot twist. Gotcha. Well, that did not go the way that I wanted it to. Um, all right, so if you want, you can take that back, since it's uh, it's all kind of confusing. No, I mean, ultimately, it's probably the best I can do. Well, you could save that plot twist, and you could use your coppers to attack, and Chester to attack, and then you would have that plot twist still in your hand. Because the, the coppers are going to get shuffled back into your deck at the end of the turn anyway. Yeah. I feel like ultimately doing two, damaging two people is better than just hitting one person. Yeah, so I guess I could hit the the main person. Yeah, there's a couple different ways that you could probably play a better turn at this point. Uh, um. I guess we'll just use them to attack Polly Gray for six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For ten. Oh, uh, okay, um, well, in that case, I'd like to play this plot twist on uh, Chester. He doesn't have flight or range. Oh, okay, wait. Uh, damn it, I didn't realize you weren't doing the road thing. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Alright. Apparently not my dad. Yeah. <laughs> Um, 
Okay, Polly is going to... Got to give Jason some satisfaction at some point during this game. <laughs> um, yeah, all right, I'll take the hit. Can't do anything. And she can strike back, but those coppers are going to get shuffled away anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, okay, so that would be... All right, so Jason, it's now the end of your turn. A momentous occasion. When I use oh right <laughs> Ada to attack Ada again, just clear them off. Trade of the Adas. <laughs> and now it's the end of my turn. Wait, she can attack. No, oh, uh, but she can't. Uh, all right, so end of turn. She's leveled up. Oh, wow, one of ten. All right, you gotta, you gotta read the words. Uh, I used to do this for a living. At the beginning of your build phase, you may name a kick supporting character Grace has named previously in the game. Who are you? Using who are you? She has its printed keyword and superpowers until the beginning of your next build phase. Grace is secret. Grace may pay a atom. If she does this, she pays one less power symbol to use her next superpower. So you have only copied Ada, Shelby, so that's going to be the power that you choose each turn. Um, but it's not a bad one to, to copy. So her about revolution keyword power requires an intellect power, a yellow, and um, you might not have those in your deck. So that's what Grace's secret is for. So she pays a blue, an energy, and if she does, she pays one less superpower. So she doesn't have to pay the intellect. She can only, she just pays the, basically the, car, the color that's in her deck instead. <clears throat> so gives her more flexibility to copy different powers throughout the game. So now she can't copy any other power? Nope, not anymore. She used to do that for a living. And then Chester takes a wound, right? Yep. He does? <laughs> yeah, you gotta read your level up condition. And if you do, Grace gains an XP. Okay. Or you could always not take the XP. <laughs> how do I know how many XP? Oh, there's a big one. Okay. Alright. Fucking reading game. <laughs> <laughs> Words, they mean things. Uh, Marcus, so you still have, you can still put cards in your witch pile if you want. If you do, you get to put a card from your deck into your hand, and you get to draw another card out of your witch pile. So, especially for plot twists and, um, that you might not need right away, uh, then those are good to put in your witch pile because you're going to get to draw another card and you get a, a random card out of your witch pile anyway. That's the general strategy behind her. I see. So, so, yeah. You probably don't want to clog it with um, characters, although if they're low-level characters, you could ditch them into your witch pile and then... I thought it had to be the cards that I drew. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I will dump those. So at this point, since it's later in the game, you might only want to dump one of them at a time because you're only drawing one to replenish that, and you don't have to worry about get it, dumping extras for extra XP. That's true, but I already put them in and shuffled them. <laughs> okay. So I think one randomly, right? Yep. So... Okay. Um, and then you also get to put one from your... Oh, you did that already. Yeah, one from your deck into your hand. So... Let me see. Okay. I'm going to... Don't forget to recover and ready your characters. Oh, wait, I thought... Oh, I haven't brought a resource out yet. Well, recovery is, is before that. 
Oh, it sure is. It sure <laughs> is. I can only put underground resources face down, right? Or underground um, plot twists, right? You can put other ones, but you won't be able to use them later. You won't be able to flip them face up. I don't think I'll be needing them. <laughs> I'm going to bring Lizzie. Okay. Um, Last time we played this, Marcus copied Liz Lizzie with Who Are You? So every time I attacked his main character, his main character got a plus one, plus one counter. Nice. It was pretty annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm going to team attack Chester. My chest hair. For ten. And Chester's eight, despite what the card says. Alright, he's dead. Spoiler yeah. alert, in the show, Polly shoots Chester. How do I look at my face down cards? Uh Alt Shift. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, draw recovery resource. So Grace is now a Peaky Blinder, so she can team attack if you wanted to do that with Peakies. Alright, reveal an, M an enemy card. So pick a number from 1 to 5 or roll a die, Jason. Let's grab this one. All right. Nice. We can have that back. Now you gotta roll a die because then Marcus doesn't have to randomize his cards. Another one. Oh, it's the same one. Fuck. <laughs> The random gods have not shown upon you. Or maybe he has uh, two of the same card in his hand. Yeah, maybe. Science can never tell. When I, uh, when my Kickstarter finished, uh, or uh, passed the 100% mark, um, then I sent out a message to everyone saying, hey, we're fully funded, and like literally three minutes later, somebody backed out. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh, good, I don't have to participate anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I was, I was, Justin thought that it might have been one of his friends that was, like, supporting me just out of kindness, and I was like, I guess we'll never know who has the shittier friend. <laughs> <laughs> So, it would be great to get some plus one, plus one counters out there. Um, do something about the dogs. Polly's sitting out there. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, I can't team attack with those though. Uh, I feel like you shuffled your deck upside down, Jason. I can't do anything. This is, this is so stupid. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Got some cannon so, fodder out there, at least. Two. Anything for the witch pile? Um. You to get to draw a card out of your witch pile. Ah, yeah. oh, beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to put that here. That's six. I don't know that I've played a deck where like opposing sides have been in the same deck that you built or at least like having it be like a main feature like a, i've never wanted to team attack as much as i have in this game and can't because the, the hats don't match <laughs> yeah it's definitely an interesting conundrum there's so many teams that like, do you choose the more powerful cards, or do you choose things that are on team that you can team attack with? Yep. You can only have one Michael Gray out at a time. You could bring a second one out, but the first one would KO. So gotcha. sometimes it's useful to do that. Most of the time, it's not. Mm. Okay, I'm bring... And I'm going to attack. So at the end of your build phase, then you could put a resource counter on Michael because you only spent three of your resource points. Can I actually bring out someone else? Uh, yes, you can bring someone else in addition to Michael, or if you wanted to take that back, you could do that. Yeah, I wanted to bring out Finn as well. So I still have uh, some unspent resource points. Correct. Okay. So this should... And you have Ada Shelby in your KO pile, so Finn gets plus one, plus one. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he doesn't get a counter, though. He just gets a, gets a plus one. All right. It's a, an attack and defense bonus. All right, so, okay, with... Okay, here it comes. So, <laughs> with Finn, I'm going to attack the copper. Uh, okay. With Michael, I'm going to attack the copper. Uh, with With um, Johnny, I'm going to attack Ada. And with Ollie and Lizzie, I'm going to team attack uh, Grace. And then I'm 
going to I guess there's not really a point in using this plot twist. Uh, uh there's half a point. <laughs> yeah, if you want to maximize it, you should hang on to it. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so I guess we'll call that good then. Uh, Alright. Resource. Um, I guess I'm going to fucking do this. Appears he can't be dropped this turn. When Bonnie powers up in a melee combat, ready him, and if he strikes a sporting character, this combat stun that character. So you'd power him up if you had another Bonnie gold in your hand. You could discard him, and then it would put a plus one, plus one counter on him, plus give him all the benefits of his dad's strength and his mother's temper. I can't strike Bonnie back. Right. Correct. Because people want their money's worth. Alright, so Anna Shelby. Ada. Ada Shelby and Bonnie Gold are going to team attack Johnny Dogs. Okay. Um, Johnny Dogs will strike back at Ada. He gets to choose? Yep. Has that always been the case? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he gets to choose one person to strike back against. If you had leader, then you would get to choose who, they, who he strikes back against. Well, that's stupid. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the whole point of body is that you can't hit him and if i'm gonna fight and you and you don't hit him then i'm not gonna <laughs> play that <laughs> so the only person he can hit and not get hit is somebody who also can't hit him oh, so oh no they could hit him yeah finn's at three three and if you need no. to you could also play one of your cards to give you an edge Alright, Bonnie's going after Finn. Uh, right. So he is KO'd, right? Finn is, yeah. Okay, and then Ada is 3 3. Ada will attack Michael Gray, and she will send a message to get a minus one counter on it, or minus one on him, so he's at 4-3. Uh, Don't forget to exhaust Ada. I'm going to use, he's a friend from North, to give uh, Michael plus two, plus two. Now that would cancel the combat. Because they're both good. Okay. All right, yeah, that's what I meant. All right. And the coppers are going to team attack Johnny Dogs. For f no. No, they're not. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, let's see. 
Marcus, you crazy. Why? I don't know. You got a lot of good cards in your hand, though, but I, I probably wouldn't have put that one on face down. I only have to hit it one more time. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, you got a lot of good cards in your hand. The one in my witch pile. So then you get to put the top card of your deck into your hand. Uh, beautiful. I have a resource out, so that's yep. too bad. Um, okay. I'm Luke Cage in this deck. <laughs> I'd sweet Christmas your ass. <laughs> well, that one's Power Man. Oh. <laughs> AKA Luke Cage. Let's see. I didn't know there was a difference, but I guess in this game I'm not surprised. <laughs> I mean, they're the same. They're counted as the same character, but he just has a different. Different code yeah. game, I guess. Okay, so I'm bringing out Thomas. Uh, I should get one more counter on Michael. Yep. So just hit two. Okay. And uh, I'm going to use Seance. Yes. Oh, yes. And and remember, you can discard locations from your hand to use those powers as well. So yeah, nice. If you don't want to spend a wild and you've got a appropriate color in your hand. I'm going to bring this into my hand. Hmm. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Now for the fun. So I'm going to. Can you get through his wall? First, I'm going to play life on the hell mouth. <laughs> um, nice. Okay, so I'm going to put that, of course, on my stars here. Thomas and. Uh, Ollie. I'm going to move them next to each other. And one, one counters. Okay. So that's good. Um, so I'll put that here. And, okay. Um, Okay, so Bonnie and Ada are exhausted. Uh, do I? I can. Uh, so all I really have to do is take out these coppers, and then I can hit Grace, right? Uh, no, you got to take them all out. Good, okay. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering how you're gonna do this, but I think you can. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, wait. Just, I want to use uh, this card here. Uh huh. To. Can I use that on a team attack? Uh, no, you have to choose a character. Crap. <laughs> Damn it. I don't think I can do that, but I want to do it. So, okay, wait. Oh, wait, I can. Ooh. Okay, I can do this, I think. Okay, yeah. So, I'm going to attack a copper with Michael. And I'm going to attack the other copper with Johnny Dines. Then, I'm going to attack Ada with Lizzie. So I'm going to attack Bonnie with Holly. 
And last but not least, Thomas going all the way to the back row for a grace jelly. Thanks to the friend from work. Uh, that would cancel the combat. Because <laughs> they're both good characters. Hey, wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm just nine right now. Versus ten. Okay. I gotta have something. <laughs> if, if you have a Tommy in your hand, you could discard him for a plus another plus one, plus one counter. You know, I think I might just do that. <laughs> So yeah, bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. <laughs> Look familiar. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> For whom the bells toll. <laughs> that he's a friend from work looks so delightful. <laughs> I had to throw it out there myself. I'm... It's funny because Tommy and Grace are in love. Not after this. <laughs> yeah, I guess right now he's in a relationship with his Aunt Polly. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs> it's a familial Smash relationship. That and send it back to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Got any other bright ideas? Oh! <laughs> Damn. Always gets so close. Never get to see this actually work. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh, when do I use my powers? Any? Uh, it says which phase. Sapphire into your hand. Oh, you have to spend a thing. Yeah. Oh, that's during your win phase. Yeah, so down yeah. payment for future services. We'll just call this the main phase. Um, alright, so. When do you equip stuff? Uh, that would be during your build phase. No. So you could do it on your next turn. Um. All right. So this Ada Shelby thing. Collect all the plus one plus one counters. Does this plus two counter now not count? No, it does. It's considered two plus one plus one counters. Okay. And distribute them evenly. So you have three plus one plus one counters to distribute as evenly as possible amongst all characters. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. I'm glad I don't have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> that one's going there. That one's going there. And that one is going... Michael, I guess. Looks pretty even to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so now it's attacking time. So she's at 6-7 now. So this seems like a good time to this is my dad. <laughs> um, so she looks to hack this whole front row. All right. So she's attacking for seven, six, six, six. So at this point, she would stun Johnny, uh, Michael, and Lizzie. I think that's the best I can do. 
uh, Johnny, Michael, and um, all right. Michael would get KO'd. Oh, actually, um, Lizzie would survive because she would get a plus one, plus one counter when you attacked Polly. Oh, when does that apply? Uh, each time his main character is attacked, put a plus one, plus one counter on Lizzie. All that... Two people out of that. Wait, what's going on? Wait, where did you pull that from? From my resource thing. No. Uh, well, you would flip it face up, but it's also not going to help you. I can't be attacked until the beginning of my next turn. Uh, well, he's going to strike back against you with one of his characters, so she's going to get KO'd anyway. Oh, going to die. Yeah. Oh, fucking whatever. Yeah. Another round. Another round. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Seance or pull out of your witch pile or both? I don't need it. Okay. <laughs> and yes, we have Tommy here. So he'll be at uh, 10, 7, and. My little finger is hovering over the table flip button. <laughs> to attack uh, a team attack with everybody on uh, race. Hey. Polly Gray wins the day. Good one. That was the most bullshit fucking draw <laughs> in the entire world. Yeah, that was pretty rough for you. <laughs> Like, I started with a hand of plot twists. <laughs> yeah. And then I only got three resources through the whole thing, and none of my powers worked for me. Stole those counters, which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I got to steal the counters once. You're the first person to pull that one off so far, so... And it wasn't even with Ada. <laughs> yeah. I got a Chris Sapphire into my hand. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs>